तो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू जिओ एडू एक्सप्लोरी जिओलोजिकाल नलेज आज वी कम्प्लीटेड दि जिओलोजी सेक्शन अफ ओपीएससी जिओलोजिस्ट एंड माइनिंग अफिसर एक्जामेसन टू थाउजेंड नाइंटीन क्वेश्चन पेपर्स उथ डिटेल सल्यूसन हियर वी केम टू दि आप्लाइड जिओलोजी सेक्शन अफ पार्ट वन एंड हियर इज माई मेल आई डी इफ यू हाव एनी क्वेरी देन कंटाक्ट उथ दिस मेल एंड उदउट गेटिंग डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड हियर इज दि फास्ट क्वेश्चन टर्बिडिटी करेन्ट्स कमनली डिपोजिट अपसन ए सेल अपसन बी लाइम स्टोन अपसन सी आर्कोस एंड अपसन डी ग्रे वेक सो ह्वाट इज टर्बिडिटी करेन्ट टर्बिडिटी करेन्ट्स आर पार्टिकल लैडेन ग्राविटी ड्रिभेन ड्रिभेन अंडर फ्लोज इन ह्विच दि पार्टिकल्स आर लार्जली और होली सस्पेडेड फ्लुईड टर्बुलेन्स सो टर्बिटिटी करेन्ट्स आर पार्टिकल लैडेन्स मीन्स लोडेड उइथ पार्टिकल्स एंड ग्राविटी ड्रिवेन्स मीन्स इट ड्रिवेन बै दि ग्राविटी सो एंड अल्सो इन ह्विच पार्टिकल्स आर लार्जली और होली सस्पेडेड बै फ्लुइड टर्बुलेन्स सो आज दि इन टर्बिटिटी करेन्ट्स दि पार्टिकल्स आर सस्पेडेड पार्टिकल्स तो दि पार्टिकल्स आर भेरी फाइन ग्रेड एंड हियर आर्कोज एंड ग्रे वेक आर सैंड टाइप भेरिटी अफ सैंड स्टोन सो दि पार्टिकल सैज विल बी सैंड हैंड ग्रेन्स एंड लाइम स्टोन विल नट बी अपसन बिकज लाइम स्टोन जेनेली पेसिपिटेड फ्रम दि ओसेन वाट पेसिपिटेसन अफ क्यासीयम कार्बोनेट फ्रम दि ओसेन व्टर और दि ब्रोकन और सेल फ्रागमेंट्स अफ दि अर्गानिजिम्स सो हियर दि आंसर विल बी अपसन ए दैट इज सेल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Which kind of information can be determined determined from sedimentary structures? Option A, topping direction. Option B, means of transport of sediment. Option C, depositional environment. Option D, all of these. So, uh, in from sedimentary structures, there are some sedimentary structures in which we can uh, find top and bottom direction, uh, like um, graded bedding. Uh, the top will be finer and the bottom will be coarser medium of transport we can also get uh, uh, and uh, depositional environment also we can get so here all of these will be answered that is option d question number 3 which type of uh, cross bedding is definite indicator of tidal environment option a epsilon cross bedding option b herring bone cross bedding option d hummocky cross bedding and option d ट्रॉ क्रॉस बेडिंग सो हियर दि आंसर विल बी हेरिंग बोन क्रॉस बेडिंग हियर दि पिक हियर देर इज ए पिक्चर ऑफ हेरिंग बोन क्रॉस बेडिंग हियर ऑफ दिस वन हेरिंग बोन क्रॉस बेडिंग व्हाट इज हेरिंग बोन आज यू यू कैन नो क्रॉस बेडिंग व्हाट इज फास्ट आई कैन आई वांट टू से व्हाट इज क्रॉस बेडिंग क्रॉस बेडिंग इज इन दि बेडिंग इन हुईज दि लेयरिंग Uh, is uh, some of the layers are at an angle to the main bedding plane so uh, uh, what is herring bone cross bedding that is the uh, that is the answer here herring bone cross bedding provides uh, on equivocal on equivocal evidence of current reversal and uh, uh, it preserves the structures of low ebb and flood currents so uh it uh, as you can see there is uh, two uh, bedding planes are at two angles means uh, uh, in tide what happens the uh, wave uh, comes and goes so uh, the, uh, it is bidirectional current so uh, here the answer will be herring bone cross bedding here uh, this this one is a, a, epsilon cross bedding this one is uh, uh, hummocky cross stratification in where uh, uh, in homogeneous cross stratification uh, it is uh, related to action of uh, it is related to oscillating currents and um, uh, this one trough cross bedding trough cross bedding have lower uh, lower surfaces which curved and scoop shaped and truncated the underlying underlying beds so uh, it deposited in a scoop shaped basin so that the sediment also deposited like this and it uh, it uh, generally forms a trough and uh, so it is known as uh, trough cross bedding and uh, it is associated with dune migration it is important next question 
allocams in limestone consist of micrite only spar only oids only biocast and oids uh, as you know folk uh, given the uh, uh, given three components to limestone that is allocams uh, allocams comprise, comprises uh, grains as well as particles and uh, uh, the and uh, sparites and uh, bioclasts uh, but alloc allochemes consist of bioclasts pellets and inter intercast as well as oids so here the answer will be bioclasts and oids not oids only not spars only spars and sparite and micrite are different things uh, spar uh, sparite is calcite cement only and uh, um, uh, micrite is micro uh, mac micro crystalline calcite mod matrix and uh, allochemes are uh, grains and uh, grains and particles are allochemes and which are bioclasts and oids uh, with that pellets also included and intraclasts in intraclasts also in included next question which of the following does not contain information about paleocurrence option a planar cross bedding option b parting lineation option c asymmetric ripples and option d laminar bedding so here the answer will be laminar bedding because these threes generally tells about paleocurrent direction uh, pla planar cross bedding is general cr cross bedding in which uh, the beds are ang at an angle to the main bedding plane so uh, there uh, it indicates the current direction parting and lineation parting and lineation also known as current lineation and in which sand grains are aligned in parallel lines and grooves on the surface of a body of a sand and it generally indicated the paleocurrent direction asymmetric ripples asymmetric ripples are like this this type of ripples and this will be the current direction it also shows the current direction but laminar cross laminar bedding laminar bedding and laminations means uh, the uh, bedding which are uh, less than uh, very uh, very thin in uh, characteristic so laminar bedding are not indicate indicator of paleocurrent direction so option d here will be the answer next question the diameter of grain size of 1 mm in phi grade is equivalent to option a minus 1 option b 0 option c 1 and option d 2 so what is phi scale phi scale is logarithm of diameter in millimeter so log of here the log of 1 1 millimeter the diameter given here so it will be 0 log 1 will be 0 see so here the answer will be option b next question braxia and conglomerate differ in option a size of class option b shape of the class option c cementing materials and option d environment of deposition as we know braxia consists of angular grains and uh, conglomerate consists of rounded grains which is bounded by matrices and braxia consists of angular grains so here the answer will be shape of the class option b will be the answer next question which of the following property does not affect the permeability of the sandstone option a pore size option b storing sorry sorting option b torosity of the pores and option d mineralogy of the framework gain as we know the pore size definitely uh, affects the permeability because if the uh, uh, pore size will be larger then it can be interconnected with each other so permeability is directly connected with the pore size sorting as you can see the on means well sorted particles have more per, uh, porosity and uh, por, uh, as well as interconnected spaces like permeability and uh, here you can see the unsorted particles are unsorted or ill sorted particles having less permeability or less, less porosity also less permeability so terosity of uh, terosity means the uh, convo, uh, con means uh, con, uh, the irregularity of the pore size so uh, this also affects because this this irregularity means uh, by time it will connect with each other and it creates the permeability of the uh, pores so it 
um, terracity also affected and how terracity affected you can see here Perme means uh, terracity is uh, means lower then permeability is high if torus means torosity will increase the permeability will be low so uh, here the mineralogy of the framework again will not affect the permeability of a sandstone next question the salt dome is characterized by a low velocity and low density option b low velocity and high density option c low velocity and high density high density high velocity and high density option d high velocity and low density um uh, as we know um of um, salt dome have very low density first because as you can see it is underlying layer of salt and it moves upward because because of buoyancy forces as it have low density so it confirms that it have low density so option a and option d um um, um are there and uh, these uh, two are cancelled and uh, uh, option a is low velocity and low density and uh, actually salt dome uh, flows very slowly and uh, also so that uh, answer a option a will be the answer low velocity and low density next question rib valleys are bounded by option a normal fault option b reverse fault option d c strike slip fault and option d transform faults as you can see here is a rib valley and it caused by normal fault only because as you can see this uh, block has gone down so here normal fault act, acting very sharply here is the end of this part of this video uh, if you are getting this video helpful uh, in any manner to you please subscribe to my channel geoedu thank you